Well, well, well. Hey, hey there, folks and fellow YouTubers. It's your best buddy here, Nuclear Scholarly 7. And in at least one of today's videos, I'll be starting up a brand new series of gaming walkthrough videos for Dishonored, the steampunk themed stealth action game by Bethesda and Arcane Studios. So, this will be a from start to finish walkthrough like I'm doing for other games as well, or like for what I've done in the past with the Focus Entertainment Call of Cthulhu game released about four years ago in 2018. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and quit talking and start playing. <clears throat> so I'm going to hit new game. These are the difficulty levels. Easy, a casual experience for new players. Enemy damage is reduced. Your health recovery is improved and potions are more effective. Normal. Stealth and combat are moderately difficult. Default enemy damage and potion effectiveness. Hard. Increased challenge for experienced players. Enemies inflict increased damage and are more perceptive. Very hard. A brutal experience for hardcore gamers. Enemies inflict extreme damage, have keen perceptions, and potions are less effective. So I'm going to go ahead and do the second to easiest difficulty normal. Challenging and hard enough to be a good challenge, but not to be hard to the point of not so fun, I guess you could say. Go ahead and do that for brightness. Creating a new game will overwrite previous auto saves. Continue? Yes. Well, because I have done several different practice runs of the first level this game before, just to make sure I was properly familiarizing myself. So that's why. Dunwall Tower. Blah. Blah. You have just returned from a journey of several months, visiting the other nations in the Empire to ask for aid in dealing with the Rat Plague. You must deliver their diplomatic response to the Empress, whom you serve as Lord Protector. Press any key to continue. Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. Bethesda Softworks presents. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. An Arcane Studios production. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. I'm your typical 2010s video game gal. And bring good news, because I'm your typical 2010s video game gal. Ren Haven River. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Correct me in the comments, though, if I'm not pronouncing that right. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress if we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstitious. For all we know, there's that a guy looks like a steampunk right version of Paxton Fettel from we Fear. The guy on the left time. with the sort of cutlass pistol on his chest. A couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat play. Like the uniforms worn by the characters in this game. So the water levels are going to rise in this sort of boat or pit. I don't know what you call it of myriad sorts, but it's going to take us up to where we need to go, as you can tell. Again, very steampunk or diesel punk, if not a combination of both. The Empress will be waiting for your news, Okay, so you'll notice how this guy, Jeff Kernow, we, who just talked to us just now, says we need to meet the Empress. It's been good traveling with you, Corvo. You too, buddy. Have you ever met my niece, Callista? She's getting more yes, beautiful yes. every year. Pressure was too low. I'll be happy you're back with the watch. I'm no different. Just don't do anything crazy. So, so we can go up to talk to characters when we want to. Welcome back, Lord Protector. It's an honor to see you. You were lucky to get away for a bit. The plague is only getting worse here. 
There he is. Good boy, sir. Sokolov fiddle with the hydraulics, and it runs like a dream now. Highest water lock in the Empire, they say. Her Majesty is waiting in the pavilion. Good to have you back, sir. I hope it's good news, sir. Things are getting bad. Hello, sir. The spymaster is with her, but she'll want to see you right away. She's in the pavilion, sir. She'll be glad to see that you're back. I know she's been worried, Lord Protector. So you can talk to characters a total of usually of five times. But then you won't be able to talk to them again, with the exception of one character, and I will show you who that is in a moment. Wait, let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. Do you have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Press left shift to sprint. We'll talk to those guys some other time Did you first. See any monsters while traveling to the other aisles? My nanny says the big ocean is full of them. But I think she only says that to scare me. Let's go! Come on! Let's see if you're still good at this. I'll hide my eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Find a place to hide. Now this may seem like just a cute childish game but act that she's doing here, but actually this will prove useful gameplay mechanics wise. For example here, stealth. Press C to enter stealth mode, then stay behind cover to break line of sight with enemies and avoid detection. While sneaking, your footsteps are muffled, which means they can't be heard very well. So we're gonna one, enter stealth two, mode, and I'm gonna go three, ahead and hide four, behind this metallic five, object here. Press spacebar to get atop of it, and I would do that, except I don't want it to be able to see me. Leaning around corners. By pressing Q or E, you can lean around corners, allowing you to look ahead without being seen by enemies. Okay, so we gotta go see Bother. So this is an optional, this hide-and-seek game with this character, Emily. It's not something we have to do, but I just choose to do it, just so I can show you guys some useful gameplay mechanics later on when you actually play the game. Let's talk to this gentleman, Officer first. The Lord Spymaster is with her, but she's said to show you right in. She's in the pavilion, sir. Her Majesty will be relieved to know you're back with us. It must have been important for her to send you away, Lord Protector. Welcome home, Lord Protector. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. You, Corvo, welcome back. They sent him all around the Isles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. Strange. I think it looks quite a bit like him. You saw my improvements to the water lock. See what I'm forced to paint? The High Overseer is no beauty. I leave the worst parts of him in shadow, but still. Hmm. I do my duty for the realm, but not gladly. Looks like an ugly, deranged cross between Abraham Lincoln and Rasputin, as in the animated version of Rasputin from the 1997 film Anastasia, released about 25 years ago, prior to when I made this video. I'm sure the Empress is eager to see you. It's funny, he's got a very Russian name, Anton Sokolov, but he 
doesn't sound Russian at all when you speak to him. I must preserve our high overseer for future generations of the faithful to marvel at. Okay, so we're going to talk to this bald dude here with the reddish coat, High Overseer Campbell. It was a fool's errand, Corvo. The plague comes from inside us. We must all strengthen our faith. High Overseer, no I must ask him to save hold us from the consequences pose. of our corrupt society. No fancy elixirs, either. Remember, to every man his choice, to every man his fate. Say what you will, this plague has brought the faithful to our doors. Remember, to every man his choice, to every man his fate. Say what you will, this plague has brought the faithful to our doors. Alright, so you all mentioned how, at this quite a few minutes ago I mentioned how there will be a limited amount of times you can talk to a character well as I said High Overseer Campbell is one of those characters that's an exception to that rule so you can talk to him whenever you want to but eventually he'll just say the same stuff over and over again as an NPC okay so clearly that's where Empress Jessamine the character is that we need to go to so we need to figure out a way to get up there I think I know where it is Believe it or not, we need to go back here, down here to this courtyard type area. Okay. Uh, oh, I know where we need to go. At least I think I do anyway. Oh, so we gotta go up this fleet of stairs. First, let's talk to this see you at once. officer. Good to have you back, sir. I hope it's good news, sir. <coughs> okay, let's talk to these dudes as well. Strange, we saw whales off White Cliff. It's too early in the year. I hope we're not fools to come back here. The plague's only getting worse. My lord, everything all right, sir? The Empress and young lady Emily will be pleased to have you back, Lord Protector. <coughs> I had to sleep in the scullery last night. The plague oh, riots shut everything down. Oh, that must be fun. Okay, so now just as a word of warning, this next little cinematic cutscene will have some spoilers. And unfortunately, I can't skip it because it's a big part of the story, so... Just thought I'd give you a little spoiler warning for you guys watching this video right now. So feel free to look away and skip if necessary. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, Your Majesty. They're... They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, your majesty. So, that bald guy to the right Corvo. will Two be pro early. provide a big part in the game Most later on. Somehow it's the best set of words I could think of to describe it. Okay, so we're gonna go talk to Jessamine and Emily up here. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. What news have you brought? Alright, so we gotta give her a letter here. Objective completed. Report to the Empress. Meet the Empress in the gazebo. I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before. Knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! Oh, and watch out, because this is where we will be doing our first combat in the game. Press left click to attack with your right hand, or right click to attack with your left hand if you have a weapon or power equipped. 
Press and hold left control to block incoming sword attacks. Perfect timing will put the enemies off balance and open them up to a lethal counterattack. Yeah, that was awesome. Just wanted to make sure I know how to use the sword. Corvo, thank you. If you Corvo, thank thing. you. I'm so pretty and feminine. No more. Not again. Mommy! No! Get away from her! So for those of you guys who do not mind spoilers, what happens is these two characters get you framed. It's all coming apart. Find, find Emily. Protect her. You're the only one who will know what to do. Won't you? Corvo. Corvo, I'm so pretty and tragic. Corvo. Lord us all, look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. What did you do with young lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Take him. Dishonored. So this is the reason why this game is called Dishonored. And the reason for that is because you've been dishonored, because you've been framed for the murder of the Empress as well as the kidnapping of her daughter, Emily, when it was actually two other characters that did it. Six months have passed since you were accused by the royal spymaster of murdering the Empress and conspiring to abduct her daughter, Emily, the royal heir. Now locked away in Coldridge Prison, the time of your execution draws near. Coldridge Prison. Now we can't skip this one. Should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. Okay, so you'll notice how that prison guard there said that we've got some food to eat. Not only that, a letter plus a key. Corvo, who we are is irrelevant right now. Just know that, that we have faith in you. Here's the key to your cell. Once you're out, Head for the prison's interrogation room. Take the explosive there and plant it on the outer door. When the bomb goes off, run. Make for the river and lose yourself in the sewers. You'll find some useful gear stashed there. One of the prison guards will leave a weapon just outside your cell. And good luck. We need you alive and well for what's to come. A friend. So we don't know who these characters are, at least not right away. Okay, so we need Corvo's cell key to be able to open up this door here and get out. Grab a weapon here, because I will need it, obviously. We'll quietly talk to some of these characters. Curse those rich milk bloods for putting me here. I don't belong here. I never did nothing. She lied. That really shows you how this kingdom in this game has some corrupt government. Cut some throats. Burn this place to the ground. Attention. The solitary limits He looks like Benicio del Toro, except more bulky and bodybuilderish. I've got three days before they cut my head off. Hey, kill a guard for me, will ya? Hey, you know, I will kill a guard for me, will ya? And I'll be happy to do just that. Assassinations and non-lethal takedowns. With a sword in hand, assassinate an unaware enemy by pressing left click, or approach an unaware enemy from behind and hold left control to perform a non-lethal takedown. Using stealth in the non-lethal approach has benefits. Fewer rats and weepers, some people react favorably, and the final outcome is not as dark. So notice those lightning-like symbols around the character's head. That means that they 
somewhat noticed you, and the more darker and more red they get, the more that they will have noticed you. In fact, just to avoid getting further notice, I'm gonna go over here. So he already noticed me, so unfortunately just have to take them out the loud noisy way. So just get out of the way of that dude up there. And he will most likely come down to combat with us. In the meantime, we're going to grab a few items and loot a few things from the dead bodies of these guards. Oh, and here, we not only get a pistol, but also a health item called Sokolov's Health Elixir. So pick it up, press R to drink it, and recharge your health. And yes, it's named after that Rasputin Abraham Lincoln lookalike character we met before we got, well, dishonored. It's been wrongfully accused of the Empress's murder. And also grab coins. Now, what useful purpose those will serve, I am not yet sure, but it will be no doubt something. So we can open this door. We can use a key if we need to. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can chop off enemies' head in this game like a Mortal Kombat fatality, which I think is awesome. Oh, look at his ugly rat-like face, that dude. Yes, we can also carry a severed body part. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well, Horatio. <laughs> that guy, as I said just now, has a very ugly, disgusting, rat-like face. Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event. There's a yard walkway exit. Here it is. This is where we need to go. Find the explosive. So you've got to go through here. This is the interrogation room, as you can tell. Duty officers report. Duty officers report Corvo's interrogation. Corvo Etano, formerly the Royal Protector, will be brought in for interrogation. This is of utmost importance. The Lord Regent and High Overseer Campbell will conduct the questioning themselves. Follow their orders without hesitation and keep the torture under control. If Corvo dies in his hands, Instead of getting the public execution the Lord Regent wants, it'll be your head that rules next. Now, I know none of the characters really speak in a British accent from what I can tell in this game. But I don't know, it just seemed fitting for me to talk in one myself when imitating the character. Press J to access the journal. There you can review your mission objectives and choose which ones to track. Read mission clues and information about your gear and manage your supernatural powers. Okay, so notice is safe. This is where we need to grab a bomb called a clockwork explosive. You will see what that does. Because there it is, obviously. The Trials of Aptitude, excerpt from a book on the esoteric practices of the Abbey. Once a child shows the proper inclination, he is marked. Overseers are assigned to study the subject 
surreptitiously in order to determine whether this inclination is supported by cosmological conditions and other signs ongoing throughout the year. At the end of the cycle, those befitting further testing are removed from their homes some hours before dawn and must begin the march to an outpost outside the city. There, the children undergo ritual preparation and evaluation until the last night of the month of rain, when they make a pilgrimage to White Cliff. During an elaborate ceremony, it is determined which of the children will become overseers and which must be put down. Ooh, man, that seems like a rather awful and cruel way to treat children. But again, this is that kind of society. I don't rationalize what they do, of course. But unfortunately, that is what they are, sadly. We've read that already. Just wanted to make sure. So we did need to grab. Okay, so now we need to go to the control room hallway. But let's duck down. So we can tr quietly, if we can, try and take out that enemy over there. I'm moving. I'm moving. No, I'm out of bullets, unfortunately. Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted. No, oh, yeah, that was a very satisfying kill. Oh, I s sliced off his head yet again. That is awesome. Not like that, I sliced off his limb. Holy heck. Another Mortal Kombat style fatality. Oh my gosh, and look at the blood leaking everywhere. I think that was from his head. Yeah. You will also notice a very Confederate soldier looking cap. Because even though there's also somewhat of a historical European influences. But then again, this is a parallel universe sci-fi fantasy steampunk universe that seems to combine different historical American and European influences. Attention. The solitary wing Control room section. Unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. <laughs> yeah, now that was a very satisfying kill. Those were both some awesome, satisfying kills. Ah, finally got some bullets for the Cutlass pistol. So we gotta open this door to activate the switch. Because by activating that switch, we open that giant metal door, basically. So I'm gonna quietly get behind this dude. Shut up. Yeah! Oh! Oh, yeah, that was awesome. Okay, so... This is another little room where we've got to activate a switch. That way we open or close that other door. Because notice this glowing yellow shiny thing. This is where we place the clockwork explosive bomb. And press F to plant the bomb, but immediately run out of the way. Because it will go off in only six or seven seconds. And yes, it can hurt you, of course. Voila, we blasted open sesame. Now, it may seem like we're not going to be able to get anywhere safely with that bridge going up the way it is. But what we got to do instead is jump down into the sewer here. Because that is actually how we get to where we need to go. To see if there's any goodies down here we're not aware of. Oop, don't go on that barbed wire there. Nope, there isn't. And you don't want to stay underwater for too long because, yes, it will drain you of your oxygen, and that can hurt you. Escape Cold Ridge Prison. That's an objective we just finished and completed. Never mind those other guys. Go to sewers. That's where we need to go. Money can be used to buy... Ah, you have escaped Cold Ridge Prison with the help of Hidden Alleys. If you can reach the Renhaven River, they promise to aid you in your next move. Press any key to continue. 
Dunwall sewers. That's where we are now. <clears throat> ah, we've got another letter. A note from a friend. Note from a friend. Corvo, if you're reading this, it means our plan worked and you've broken free from Coldridge. One of our contacts has hidden weapons for you somewhere deeper in the sewers. Grab the gear and find Samuel before where these tunnels dump out into the river. He will bring you to us, a friend who will meet you soon. Bottle Street gang, maybe. Watch for booby traps. Could be some down here. But... Notice how the rats eat those guys alive in that really horrible death. Well, those rats will be a very <clears throat> useful gameplay mechanic. So those aren't just for nausea feel. They're also there as a gameplay mechanic, and you will see why. But that also means they can eat you alive as well, so you've got to be very careful around them. So we're going to head on down now. Don't think I want to go through there just to not attract the rats, obviously. Okay. So we'll let them quickly do their thing. So you don't have to worry about getting eaten by them. You'll notice how they're eating the dead body of that other guy over there. Let's quickly get back into the sewer so that there's no chance they'll be able to detect us and as such be able to eat us. Because they can't clearly get us when we're in the sewer water. I know it's gross, but it's what we got to do to survive. Okay, so you'll notice how there's this crank wheel. We will not be able to use it, though, until we grab this dead guy's corpse and toss it in there. So we've got to hold F to turn it. And luckily, there's no time limit once we do fully open it, because it stays open once we do fully open it, that is. Be sure to come here if you should need some supplies, among other things. There's some hidden supplies over there we need to grab. <clears throat> so we'll let the rats eat the dead corpse there first. But then you will see what we got to do next once they're done with that specific dead body. Okay, so all you gotta do is grab one of these dead bodies here and then toss it over there. Okay, so while they're busy doing that, we need to quietly go over here and open up this other crank wheel. But do it quickly before the rats notice you. Attention, Dunwall citizen. The assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily. So you can also eat these disgusting rat skewers. That's another way you can also recharge your health, should you not have any elixirs. So now we got to walk up this chain, climb it up, I should say. Then once we get to another ledge, got to press space bar to jump off. Oops. I'm gonna need some help myself. <coughs> Excuse me. It's had a little bit of <clears throat> allergy drainage. And if you're halfway devoid of health, be sure to grab some health items. Oops. So don't make the mistake I made, which is going across that line. However, I don't think it was a bad thing that I went ahead and grabbed the that health elixir, because I was in pretty dire need of it. Ah, the drat, there's no real way to jump across that without getting hurt. Oh well, it is what it is. We won't need any of these dead corpses to feed to the rats. To the Lord Protector, press F to read. 
Greetings, Corvo, or should I say Lord Protector, as you were known before that title was wrongfully taken from you. We are servants of the Empire, and of the true Empress, a group of loyalists who want very much to meet you. Take these weapons crafted for you of the finest material in the Isles, and meet with our man Samuel, near where these tunnels will spill into Renhaven River. All haste and luck, we share a common purpose. Not only that, we get a new kind of weapon. A weapon that resembles a cross between a pistol and a crossbow, as you can tell. Also, a new kind of knife. Find the supply chest in the sewers. Objective updated. So let's toss this dead dude's corpse here. So it's not a problem. Sure to go over here should you need to grab some useful health items. Not health, but something useful. Okay, so we're gonna break open this door here. Okay, so it's a press C to slide while sprinting. So that is how we avoided those things there, those explosive tripwires. I don't know how I didn't remember that, but I did it somehow. But that means don't make the mistake I made when you play this game. Now we've disarmed it, I believe. Okay. <clears throat> you won't get past me, You know who we're hunting here? I'll try to take them out alone. Alright. What if no one from the squad is around? And try to make a lot of noise. Knock something over. Okay, so this is where we need to go next. Now if you want to just take them out, you can use that to take them out. So that way, at least you won't have to deal with them once you do get down. Okay. Get down quietly as much as you can. And smash it. Did I tell you about the time I almost caught that guy who killed the Emperor? Blow off. So let's go ahead and loot from his dead body, this guy's. Again, be sure to grab rat skewers. If you need to rejuvenate your health, because again, they will be what rejuvenates your health, if not health elixir items, as they're called. Go ahead and assassinate the other dude from a safe distance. Yeah! Oh, yeah, that was awesome. All right. So we're going to loot both of these dead bodies. And those are two rats, so they can't hurt you. Okay, let's... In order for rats to be able to hurt you, there has to be an entire pack or mob of them for them to, again, be able to hurt you. Okay, just want to make sure there isn't anything useful up here. Nope, didn't think so, but I thought it wouldn't hurt to check. Okay, so that is where we need to go up there and meet a guy named Samuel. First, though, let's go up here. Let's see. But then... Grab that health elixir. It doesn't really have anything too useful, so. Just throw his body in the sewer water. A little bit cruel, but hey. This is just a video game, so. Not that I ever do that in real life, of course. Okay, so this is where we need to meet up with a crusty old guy named Samuel. Oh, there the heck he is. I'm Samuel. And I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. Rather Dickensian looking with the here. sideburn so stubble and fingerless I'll gloves. Take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. Mm. Alright, old man, let's go. So yes, that was part one of Dishonored, and part one as such of my walkthrough for this game. And so you'll notice how this chapter or mission is just called Dishonored, i.e. the same name of the game itself. It's a pretty easy chapter to move through, albeit a pretty long one at least. And uh, yes, it's pretty easy, but it is a pretty long map, so it takes a while to get over and so, yes, I hope you folks and fellow YouTubers found this educational there, folks. And remember, if you like this video, please shoot one of Corvo Atano's crossbow pistols at that like button below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please fire a steampunk sniper at that subscribes button below. 
and I shall see you all when I see you all in the next video, folks. Until then, though, my name is Nuclear Scholarly Seven, and you all have an excellent and wonderful rest of your day. Amen.